Hey, before we get started with this video, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I will be at their spring event coming up this May in Vandalia, Missouri. Limited time left to get the few remaining tickets. If you're from my audience and you want to come visit me over at the Off Grid with Doug and Stacy event, be sure to do that. Go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com and you can go to their events tab and you can find the event, the event in Vandalia, Missouri and get tickets. There's only a limited amount left. Do not wait. Okay, the, the fan, it was fantastic. The last event we went to, so many great speakers. There was a huge crowd. There's going to be a great crowd this year. Lots of homesteaders, and so I highly, highly recommend if you have the time, if you're going to be available, Vandalia, Missouri. It's coming up in May. Check it out. Off grid with Doug and Stacy, and and get some tickets. And I'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today's going to be a fun video. We got a lot of stuff planned to talk about. So hopefully you can take the time to stick with me for a little bit because you're going to learn a lot here. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to see some things that maybe you didn't see before. And you're going to learn about some things that maybe some steps that maybe you can take to make your life better. Stick with me. This is not going to be your average video. Uh, so years ago, uh, about the fourth grade, I uh, had a teacher who read me this book um, uh, to the class. And I went ahead, I thought the book was fun. You know, she read it to the class and I went and I got the whole series as a little kid and I read the whole series. And so homeschooling now, I went ahead and got this series for my kids. It's about a guy who thinks a, a kid who thinks he has a great brain and he is pretty smart. However, he gets himself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and so, um, you know, and his younger brother is along for the ride. And so it's just a fun series. Um, and uh, my kids have read it and they liked it a lot. And throughout the series, they order things. They, they live back in the 1890s in, in Utah. And they order things throughout the series from the Sears Roebuck catalog. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The Sears Roebuck catalog. This is about, a, we're approaching 130 years since this was originally first printed. Now, this is a facsimile. This is not a real one. This is, you know, a, a, basically a printing of it from 1897. So we're getting close to 130 years now. And I made a bunch of notes through here. I'm like, what could we buy 130 years ago here in this country, in America, with 20 bucks? with $20. Now, keep in mind that back then, a penny was actually made of copper, a dime was actually made of silver, a quarter was made of silver, and a dollar was made of silver, and $5 was made of gold, $10 was made of gold, $20 was made of gold. That was when we were actually on a monetary, a metal monetary system. We don't have that anymore. And this is why you're seeing everything you're seeing today. Fiat currencies always, historically, always, 100% of the time, always, always fail. And that's why you're seeing the things you're seeing today. But let's go back during a simpler time when one man could go to work and come home having earned that money and provide and, you know, with his family everything they needed. They could pay their taxes. They could pay their bills. They could buy clothes. They could buy food. They could buy shelter everything you could need in life in America during the industrial revolution, you could provide for your family by going to a job and getting, earning that money and coming home with it. Let's see some of the things they would buy. Now, these people lived out in, uh, you know, more out West in that book, the great brain series. And so they ordered things. And a lot of the times these would always come on the train, you know, the mail or freight, but it would come on a train to them. Let's take a look at some of these things. Fascinating. First thing I noticed, some of these things are going to be homestead related. You'll see that one there is a shovel. So a shovel, where did a shovel cost you back then? A shovel costed you 80 cents. <laughs> if you wanted a brand new, top of the line, very high quality shovel, 80 cents. And you could buy a dozen of them for $8.75 a dozen. All right, next item. My kids, by the way, had a fantastic time of looking through this and looking at all the things that were for sale. A top-of-the-line quality double-bitted axe right there. See that? Top-of-the-line was 75 cents. And if you just wanted the axe, uh, the head, it was, I believe, 40 cents. Now, I know a lot of you homesteaders out there, you want one of these. A lot of people, I see lots of videos from homestead channels out there talking about these items. You love these items, you search them out, and they're awfully hard to find, and they're awfully hard to find 
affordable. That is a wood cook stove. A wood cook stove. You can have this delivered by freight on the train to you. How much did it cost? A wood cook stove with a 24 inch length firebox. This is the largest one they have here. The highest quality, $13.80. $13.80 for the largest one they have. And they have a, a variety of different cook stoves in here. I mean, a whole there's a few pages of them. Um, but this was, I tried to find the highest quality. Okay, what's what's something that we could get? Now, the, the weight of that was 295 pounds. And obviously, it took freight. It, there's, a, there's a freight calculator at the beginning of the book. Let's take a look at that. Now, the freight calculator is divided up by state. So you have to go through here and figure out, okay, what state am I in? And how much does the thing weigh? Because it tells you that. 295 pounds was the weight of the wood cook stove. So let's just say, let's pick a state. Let's go to Missouri, okay? There's a lot of you homesteaders out there in Missouri, and a lot of you guys are in the Ozarks. So let's just go for Springfield because you would have to go to Springfield to the train station and then from there, wagon it back to wherever you were. And so let's just go for, uh, now there's different classes of freight. Let's just go first class. First class freight per 100 pounds. A dollar and three cents. So it would basically take you three dollars <laughs> to get this delivered to Springfield and you'd have to go get it from there. So three dollars shipping. Now, if you took if you went express, express freight shipping, three dollars per 100 pounds. So basically nine dollars for the express freight shipping <laughs> for that wood cook stove. My, have times changed. Something else that stuck out to me at this with this book is something that I've wanted to get for a while, and that's a co all copper, pure copper tea kettle. Have you looked at what an all 100% pure copper tea kettle goes for today? Probably several hundred dollars for a good high quality one. Now, um, pro at least over a hundred dollars if you get a low quality one. And that one may not all be pure copper, but a cure, a pure copper, all copper tea kettle, the largest one they had, which I believe when I looked it up was a three and a half quart. It was a number. It's called a number nine was 75 cents, <laughs> 75 cents. For an all copper tea kettle, right there, and you get nickel plated ones too if you wanted to. But the all copper tea kettle was seventy. The largest one they had was seventy five cents. Good luck trying to find that today. Some of you guys like musical instruments. They had a bunch of musical instruments in there. Uh, acoustic guitars was something I looked up because I know a really well made acoustic guitar today. I mean, it can run the gamut on price. I mean, you put the prices down below. What a, what does an acoustic guitar, a handmade well-made acoustic guitar run today price-wise. Leave a comment below. But this one, the best one that the Sears Roebuck catalog carried, the, the top of the line was $10. $10, a handmade top of the line acoustic guitar was $10.65. What does an acoustic, a handmade acoustic guitar sell for today? Leave a comment below. I know you guys out there are wondering, okay, what about the firearms, Zach? I know there's guns in that book, so let's, so let's go ahead and talk about that for a second. A couple of these, I actually have something very similar to these. This is uh, the cheapest revolver I think I could find in the book. It was a very small um, revolver. It was the Defender, and it cost 68 cents. They sell something similar to that today at North American Arms. Um, this little gun here, I think cost me 150, you know, something like that, maybe $170. I don't know what it goes for today. You can leave a comment below if you know, but that was something very similar. It looks like in size comparison to this 68 cents for that right there. Now they had uh, lots of revolve. Most of the revolvers would run you about four or $5, depending on which one you wanted. Uh, but the Colt, everyone's favorite, the Colt single action army revolver cost $12 right there, $12.95 for the, how much does, now how much does an original Colt sell for today? Colt single action. I mean, they don't even, do they even make this Colt single action from Colt anymore? Maybe they do, but leave a comment below if they do and what that costs. I think a Ruger Vaquero, uh, which is similar, probably not in quality, but I think you can get one of those for like four or $500, maybe $600, something like that. But yeah, the, the famous Colt single action. They say 
God made man. Sam Colt made them equal. That's that's the gun that that is based on. Okay, um, next is this one. <clears throat> I found uh, one of the firearms that I do own. This is the Marlin repeating carbine right there. The Marlin repeating carbine, $10.64. Now, the one I have is... Um, put this right there this is the marlin trapper and 357 and it's i think this cost me around 350 bucks when i bought it back in the day a long time ago marlin 357 trapper and this one's a little bit longer barrel and they didn't have a 357 back then all they had the comparable was uh the 3840 so maybe that would be comparable ten dollars and 64 cents now, something else a lot of you homesteaders might be interested in is saddles. I know a lot of you guys have your own horses and you like riding horses and tack, you know, saddles can be very, very expensive. And it's got all that stuff in this book. Uh, their most expensive saddle that they had inside the Sears Roebuck was $38.50 and everything was leather, the best well-made, the best saddle you can buy in the book 130 years ago. $38.50, $38.50. I mean, I don't keep up on, I don't have a horse. So if you have a horse and you know what a, a really top of the line saddle cost today, leave a comment below and what that price would be. Now, the last thing I want to get to in this book that you're going to find absolutely fascinating. This is something that I found absolutely fascinating. So I thought I'd share it with you at the end of the book. And if you know me well enough, you know where I'm going, probably. But um, let's take a look at the beginning of the book because the beginning of the book or near the beginning of the book is the drug department. The drug department. This was your pharmacy. This was your drugstore. If you needed medicine, you could order it through the mail and have it delivered. And what I find funny is that most of these things that are in the drug department, many of them, many, many of them, you cannot find in a pharmacy today, especially over the counter. And many of the things inside the drug department are now illegal to buy. Many of them are illegal to buy. Many of these are against the law to have and to buy. And you sure shooting definitely are not allowed to use them and promote them as medicine anywhere on the internet or especially on even on YouTube. So I gotta be a little bit careful here. <laughs> There are some things that I thought I would point out to you. Okay, first one is root beer, sassafras, actually real root beer. You buy root beer, A&W root beer, or you buy root beer at the store, it's not real root beer. It's not real sassafras. Why? Because it was made illegal by our Food and Drug Administration in the United States years ago because they overfed a bunch of rats a bunch of straight sassafras and it made them sick. And so they, well, this, this is, this is poisonous. We, we got to outlaw this. No, no, no. They realized they knew, they knew that it cured a lot of problems. That's your first one on the list. So they got rid of that. Uh, root beer, sassafras, Arnica. Arnica was another one in here. I'm like, you can't find this in your store anymore. No, but you could find it here. You could find it. Arnica cures all kinds of problems. Slippery elm was another one that you could find in the drug department and is now long gone from your drug stores and pharmacies. Can't find that at all. There's so many things, a whole list of homeopathic remedies right there. And, and all kinds of other stuff that you would just normally go through and get here. Stuff that is now illegal. You can't buy it. Guys, it's a really neat window of history when you can go back through here and look at some of these things. And this is why, guys, this is why. You know, over the years, I have been pushing these. I've been pushing these things. Um, all of the stuff that is that used to be in, that, that's in this book that you can't find anymore, that's now illegal, are in these things. That's why I push this. I'm like, guys, this is my medicine cabinet. You know, the Arnica, the, the root beer, I still have... Um, in this jar right here. So this is uh, a collection. I need to go dig up some more. This is sassafras. I'm sorry. Well, it's root beer. It's, it's from the sassafras tree. And so we dug up the roots and we keep this in here. If I need to make tinctures, I can make tinctures. We can make root beer with it. Oh. Blood clots. <clears throat> Should I even say that word? 
blood clots. Some of the things they have taken away from you, you would be absolutely flabbergasted to know all of them. It smells so good in there. Um, you really need a tractor to dig up these things. Sassafras trees, you can't just pull those things up. You, it takes some effort. Um, but once you dig it up, you can use the leaves, you can use the roots. Absolutely fantastic for so, so many things. Um, and this is why I push this. Guys, you can get this PDF download. This was written over 100 years ago, back when everything in here was still in here. That's this guy, Dr. A.B. Howard. He lived 100 years ago. You can download these PDFs just by joining my Patreon. Patreon in the link below. You can join for as little as a dollar a month. If you join at higher levels, I appreciate that because we got other stuff we're going to talk about here soon. But right there, right there, Dr. A.B. Howard, written over 100 years ago, Fantastic stuff in here. This is not how to make tinctures. This is what you do with the tinctures once you have them. And if you bought these hard copies on Amazon, you're going to pay $800 for one and like $900 for the other. The reason they're so expensive is because of the valuable information contained within. Valuable information that people 100 years ago was just normal. It was everyday stuff. How far have we come as a country? Our money is no longer money. Our, our drugs are no longer actual drugs. They're <laughs> everything is crazy. Um, anyway, hey, listen, guys, I'm going to be, uh, just a re quick reminder again, I'm going to be over at uh, Doug and Stacy's um, events this spring and probably also this fall. So make sure you check out uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy if you want to find tickets for that. Just a quick reminder again to get that. And also uh, giveaways over at Patreon. We see when you join at higher levels, we have different, I can't say we don't do giveaways. That's against the terms of service of Patreon. We do awards. We give awards. And the next award is going to be this Bearcat 980 SSB single sideband radio. You can talk all over the world with a radio like this. It is a CB radio. CB is not dead. You don't need a license to use this, but this is unlike other CB radios. This is a single sideband. You can, you can hear conversations all over the world. And once we give that away, we're going to be doing some other giveaways. Uh, this Oopies uh, power generator. This is uh, the next one that Oopies has sent us. Exodus 6 and I will be reviewing this soon. This will be going out to one of my patrons. And then also additional security, things like this. And we give one of these out to the patrons. It's called a night lock. You put this in front of your door so no one can kick your door in. Uh, the crimes are getting out of control lately here in this country. So uh, do the things you need to do to harden up. But. The main thing I'm going to tell you to do is get these. Patreon, as little as a dollar a month. Link is in the description below. I want you to get these books. I will give you the PDF downloads, and you can print them out at your own leisure, but I highly recommend printing them out so you have this information. Uh, that is my medicine cabinet. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. Have you ever gone to a health food store and seen all those small bottles of probiotics in your cooler section? Man, can they be pricey. Are you really getting all you need to improve your gut health from those expensive bottles? How viable are they? Most of those products claim to give you between 8 and 15 strains of gut healthy healing bacteria. Think of each strain of bacteria as a different factory in your gut. Each factory is responsible for breaking down that food in its own way. The more factories you have, the more the food is broken down and the easier the food is absorbed and digested by the body. A 2018 study published by the National Library of Medicine shows that one fermented head of cabbage can produce up to 114 strains of beneficial bacteria. That's a lot more food factories than you're getting from that expensive pill bottle. And that's just cabbage. Imagine the probiotics when you add garlic, onions, pepper, and more to that ferment. PerfectPickler.com and its home fermentation kits provide you with everything you need to get started making your own gut healthy food factories from the comfort of your own kitchen. PerfectPickler.com even provides a jam-packed recipe book with many of our kits. Visit PerfectPickler.com and start fermenting your own veggies to begin your journey to better gut health. That's PerfectPickler.com. Guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>